There are places in Nepal uh, which are dark, meaning uh, no light pollution at all. There are more number of places at higher altitude and there are also arid and dry places. For amateur astronomers who want to look at the night nice sky and enjoy, there are many places in Nepal. Every corner you go, every little valley you go, you can see the Milky Way band. At 2 a.m., there's a clear nip in the air in Pokhara's Annapurna region that hasn't stopped these young enthusiasts from venturing out to explore the night sky. They have come 20 kilometers out of downtown Pokhara in West Nepal to make sure city lights don't pollute the view. They set up the telescope and camera and try to capture the Milky Way. They gauge at the stars and are amused by the wonders of the dark sky. Right now we are at Australian camp, uh, which is uh, nearly 20 km away from the Pokhara. So we are trying to capture the different, different uh, images of the space, uh, night sky, especially stars, constellations and uh, Milky Way bands. It is uh, early morning and we can see uh, different kind of stars and constellations like Ursa Major and the Polish star and, uh, and Milky Way band in our background so, so clearly. At the Pokhara Astronomical Society, Mahesh and his colleagues have been working to create public awareness around the dark sky since 2012. They organize talks at schools and colleges and hold stargazing workshops like these at midnight to educate them about the night sky and stargazing. Stargazing is part of astrotourism that attracts astronomy enthusiasts to explore new spots for appreciating the night sky. In a 2016 article, National Geographic included the Sagarmatha National Park in Nepal in its list of world's best stargazing sites. Nationaled in the Himalayas, Nepal offers some spectacular views of the sky. Our human capacity is very little, in fact. For example, we only see about, uh, let's say, 10,000 stars in the sky. We only see stars that have um, larger magnitudes. More number of stars in a galaxy are uh, small uh, stars which do not have larger luminosities. So in our galaxy alone, Milky Way, there's billions of stars and there are billions of galaxies. Now you can imagine how vast is the universe, right? Their next destination is Tulakot in Kalika that falls in the Royal Trek region closer to the Annapurna Himalayan ranges. The group has a unique timetable. They eat and sleep early but wake up around midnight to gaze at the stars. Most of the time, they sleep in tents to absorb the sky. I feeling the Pokhara Astronomical Society has been rallying support for promoting astrotourism in Nepal, but that alone may not be enough. Members say it will help if the tourism sector could create dark sky communities, dark sky parks, dark sky reserves, dark sky sanctuary, and dark sky trekking routes. For those living in the concrete jungle, a few nights out under a sunny open sky could make you wonder about the vastness of the universe. Trekking route is light pollution almost zero. The night photography is in Nepal. Stargazing is a lot of tourism development. Light pollution is a lot of stars. Boost the tourism, let's say, night sky tourism. Nepal has uh, um, chances. We, we do have a lot of chances to go in, in, in that prospect because uh, most part of Nepal is mostly dark, right? We could boost uh, astro tourism.